received 12.5.4.1 Friday night time to take it Saturday morning to run an errand. Seems like the jerkiness is a little bit better and smoother on slower turns. The micro pulses might still be there. I think I felt them. Still ran into a couple issues. It slowed down through a traffic light. It was the biggest problem, but we'll see where this goes over the next few days. Maybe it takes a few days to settle in. Maybe this build's gotten rid of some of the weirdness from 12.5.4, but let's see where it goes. And thanks for watching. I wait our turn, but this guy in front of us, now we should make the left here. The steering wheel there was not jerky. It was good, much better than it was last build, at least on this very first turn. A little bit of a blind hill to the left. Uh, it's easy to get surprised by traffic. And I've got a car coming. My car's gonna stop. Yeah, see? It started to pull out, that car was coming. It stopped, but that was a case where I wish it could creep out to the road. I'd have to stop at that stop sign, give you better visibility. Left turn, unprotected. No traffic that I can see coming the other way. This should be a pretty easy turn. I've got one car coming far in the distance. This felt, oh, okay, jerked in, uh, jerked into the left lane a little bit. That's um, interesting. That was smooth. It didn't, just a little bit of a brake action on that left turn from that car. Now I'm slowing down at the green light. All right, that was bad. Why did I slow down there through that green light in the intersection? Nobody behind me, so that was not good. All right, that's weird. Perfectly sunny day, full self-driving, maybe degraded, one or more side cameras occ occluded. All right, well, uh, my car is clean, so I'm not like I've got bird dung, I don't think, hanging over a side camera. Be occluded, there's some buildup of condensation in there. I take it back. Well, I've never seen that before. Well, I've successfully burned off our condensation in there. Get a nice unprotected left. There's a couple cars behind this red SUV. After this second car, okay, now we can see. Good left turn, not a jerky steering wheel, so that was good. Yeah, all right, it just glitched again at that stoplight. Same stoplight, it glitched on the way out. I was going to come and do my torture test left, and I forgot this is what's called Ohio Mart Weekend at Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens, which is insanity here. So it'll be a good, interesting test to see the car navigate through what I think is kind of a little nightmare. Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens is a historical home built by the Cyberling family where the rubber barons when Ohio or Akron, Ohio was the rubber capital of the world. So, generally there's a lot of faster traffic on this road. It's blind to the left, it's got to creep up all the way to the roadway, but we've got a lot of slow moving traffic today because of Ohio Mart. It should go. Um, there was no reason it couldn't go there. I got a car coming from the left now. Okay, it should go now. now. I'm getting blocked from the right. Now I can't see to the right because the car is going to my right here. Let's open this up all the way. So the cars here to the right are blocking me. I'm seeing. All right, now I'm clear to the right to see. More traffic to the left. Now more traffic to the right. Now it's gonna go. I got a car coming. It's kind of slow traffic. I made it out okay there. I got this guy. Give me the sign. Just give me the sign there. Okay. Hand signal from the sheriff. The car wants to go. I'm going to take over. He's not giving me the sign. The car was creeping up. And he hadn't given me this go sign yet. It's disengaged. Re-engage. Re 
He's walking out of the way. He's giving me the, okay, so. I don't think the car was looking at the sheriff. It was just saying the guy cleared the road. Stopping for that lady. This guy's gonna cut in front of me. My car's gonna let him and then go. Yeah, look at this line of cars. So this is a, you know, I don't have to go back to my house in a back way. This is uh, nuttiness that I've gotten myself into. All for you to test full self-driving. So you're welcome. I'm gonna force the car to make a left up here. And there's really two lanes. And the last time it was keeping to the left to open the lane to the right for people to uh, proceed through. So let's re-engage. Let's see if that behavior is still there. So we want to stay biased to the left to let people pass to me to the right. And I'm kind of not really. I, I could do a better job of pulling over. The steering wheel was much smoother. It wasn't jerky there. Now we're going to turn around and do my left up here and immediate right, which is a pretty tough test. Building to the left trees to the right and the car has to creep up to see it can't see yet so now it should be able to see left and right it's got to get behind this jeep pulling out blocking the left lane this is where i want the car to swing out wide to the right and back in so i might clear this lane see i've got a Pull this out. This car here was able to swing in, and I wish I could get rid of these stupid things. So he's more in the lane than I am. He was able to swing out, or my car can't do that. People could get around me still, but um, I'd like to see the car be able to maneuver better. Good, no jerkiness of the steering wheel there. We're gonna turn around and try and get an unprotected left at that stoplight back there. Okay, smooth left and a smooth right so far. So that was much better than the last time I was here. Fortunately, pretty light traffic right now. Got to creep up to see. About now I can see I got a car coming from the right that's turning out, but it's pretty far down the road. Yeah, see, I'm not, a, that's not a great job of being in that left turn lane. I feel like if I can see the lines barely in, I could have been a better job of getting itself into that lane. He's going to make the right on red. Got a Model 3 coming up behind me. Or should go now. And if I've got room, should make the left now. A little jerky there on the steering wheel. Those were pretty smooth. Let's go around for one last attempt. Good, got another SUV coming from the right. Let's build up some traffic here. Give it a challenge. Now, nothing to the right or left. Should shoot beyond this truck and get into the lane. All right, a little hesitant here. Struggling a bit. Yeah, that wasn't as smooth. I've had it go up much better in that same scenario and not get stuck back there. That turn was better, was smooth. So I think the steering wheels got smoothed out a bit from the previous build, which was pretty jerky.